got all new equipment set up. Uh, I think I got the chroma key thing and working pretty well now, I hope. Uh, I think I got the microphone sounding pretty good. Uh, I'll let you guys decide how you feel about it. Uh, at any rate, let's get back to the article. This is called, New Kyle Rittenhouse Witness Could Clear Him of Murder. I remember reading this about a month or two ago and forgotten completely about it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and read this article. Then we're going to ask a fundamental question. Does the person exist? Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. All right, let's take a look at this article here. It starts off with a very telling quote. Uh, it says, I don't want to shoot anybody. I just got my EMT license, according to this new witness. All right. So let's go ahead and scroll down. A new Kyle Rittenhouse witness to the shooting of Joseph Rosenbaum could get the teenager acquitted of murder charges. However, until now, the combat veteran and former Air Force firearms instructor has never told his story and he's never been interviewed by the Rittenhouse defense team or the police, who appear not to know he exists. And maybe he doesn't. I have no idea. Of course, Wisconsin right now claims he does. This witness, John, aged 43, tells Wisconsin right now in an exclusive interview that he observed Rosenbaum chasing Rittenhouse in what he described as an aggressive and predatory fashion. Let's see, predatory fashion. Does that sound like something Joseph Rosenbaum would do? Of course. Right before gunfire rang out and then Rittenhouse shot and killed Rosenbaum. We know John's last name and occupation, but we agree not to print them because he's afraid he could be targeted due to the incendiary nature of the situation. Rittenhouse is in court for an arraignment on January 5th. He entered not guilty pleas. Okay, so this dates back a few months. Furthermore, he says that Rittenhouse told him, I don't want to shoot anybody. I just got my EMT license before the shootings. Okay, and that's kind of important. There are two things there. First, his claim he didn't want to shoot anybody. That kind of belies the entire narrative that somehow he went there looking for trouble. Also, he claimed he just got his EMT license. Uh, he did not. He had CPR training, and that was pretty much it. So is he confusing EMT with just medic in general, like CPR? I don't know. It's not clear to me that Kyle understands the distinction between CPR and EMT, but it doesn't really matter. He's not being charged with impersonating an EMT worker. Uh, it goes on to say here, he was like a little kid, proud he got the license, the witness said. There's a well-known video that captures Rosenbaum chasing Rittenhouse, of course, but the eyewitness's account is a vivid description of what he saw go down as the videographer filmed nearby. My angle was different, he says of the video. The camera wasn't pointed there when it first happened. And I'm trying to figure out what part of the chase he's actually talking about. The witness was standing across the street at the eastern edge of Sheridan Road, about 40 yards away. He said this of Rosenbaum. It was that aggressive posture. I would even go as far as to say predatory. Not I am just going to jog up and catch up to him. He, Rosenbaum, was intent. And that moment when Rittenhouse fired, he was about to leap. I would absolutely say with zero reservation that the first shooting was a self-defense shooting. Now, he can't make that claim on the stand. Uh, if the defense asks him, the prosecution will come in and object. Uh, he cannot make legal conclusions like that on the stand. But he can tell the jury what he saw happen and give some impressions of that. He added, in my opinion, he, Rosenbaum, was trying to murder that boy. Again, he's not going to be allowed to make that comment in court. Asked why he believed that, he said, the exceptionally aggressive posture, how aggressively he was pursuing. He was really leaned into. 
He was just about to lunge. He, Rittenhouse, was running away and losing ground. He probably will be allowed to make those comments. And again, this is all predicated on whether this person really exists or not. The witness account could be persuasive to a jury because he's a completely objective party. Well, how objective? That's what both sides would get into. He was working in the area that night, which is why he was in the area. He had told Rittenhouse and other militia members why he was there for work before the shootings, so they wouldn't get the wrong idea. And that's when he says Rittenhouse made the above comment about not wanting to shoot anyone. The witness is not a member of either the protesters or counter-protesters. And so the subject heading here is, who is the new Kyle Rittenhouse witness? Furthermore, John is exceptionally well trained to perceive a threat or non-threat. I was in military law enforcement, he says. He spent nine years as a military police officer for the U.S. Army and eight years as security police for the U.S. Air Force. He served three overseas combat tours serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. He says he was also a firearms instructor for the Air Force. That sounds very lofty. Maybe too lofty. We'll see. How credible is this? I don't know. I, by the way, I went ahead and uh, did not read the rest of the article. It's just his impressions of what he saw on the video, and his impressions are no more valuable than any of ours, so I didn't bother with that. Do you have any evidence that such a person exists or doesn't exist? Uh, post it in the comments below if you do. For the record, I don't know. But keep in mind, I'm being far more fair in this regard than a lot of people who take the word of Jeremiah and, and Sir Yellow Pants at face value. Like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll put a link to this article in the description below. And I suggest that you look at Wisconsin Right Now's uh, articles. They have a lot of stuff on Kyle Rittenhouse, some of it very interesting.